life is going to change even more than it has the past two years. It's going to look like nothing. Let's talk about it. And real quick, guys, thank you so much for all the views and the subs and the likes and the comments. It's incredible. I'm trying to read every comment, but there's so many, but I'm trying to catch up and get to everyone, guys. I love the comments. I love it, guys. Thank you so much. You guys rock. So we're entering a new phase of life, society, and I hate to say it, war. We've entered a new war. And no, I'm not talking about the one you think I'm talking about overseas. This is a whole nother war that's already happening domestically right in front of our eyes. And it's something that we all need to be aware of because things are about to change. The, the war is about to ramp up. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about weaponized food. The CEO of Goya recently warned of food weaponization. This is, this is getting really real. This isn't like some war overseas with bombs dropped on people we can't see. This is something, peop, your food that you're trying to buy on your shelves at Walmart, Costco, the reason why you're having all these issues, there is a war going on on our food. Food has been used for centuries in warfare. Even recently in World War II, there were plans to starve out other countries as part of the war. Germany had a plan. They had a plan called the Hunger Plan, and it was implemented to starve over 20 million people in the Soviet Union. This is part of war. This is part of countries trying to have power. I said it before, somebody mentioned it in a comment and pointed it out, and this is a very good point. Countries operate on raw power. That's how the world really works. We wanna act like it works on, you know, who's, who's shaming this person for that or this or that. None of that's important at the end of the day when it comes down to governments and war. Anything's, anything's a free for all when it comes to war and especially comes to starving out a population. What do we need to happen in the US for the US to be taken over militarily? The population needs to be decimated. We, our economy needs to be decimated. Our military needs to be decimated. Our weapons reserves. All these things are happening right now. This is setting up. This is exactly what happened before World War II. There was, look at the stock market. The worst stock market we've had since World War II. Dropped a thousand points in a day. They say it could drop up to 50%. This is getting... This is history repeating itself. I know I had a video on that before, but this is this is so important, guys. And it's it's hitting home now. We're already in a war. Learn how to garden if you can, if you have space. I know not everyone can do that. Learn how to get chickens. Chickens really don't need much space. They really don't need much care. They're a very good gateway to homesteading. They're really easy, probably even easier than plants you know, <clears throat> growing a garden. So test yourself, push yourself to do these things now because we're running out of time. You're not gonna have time. You don't wanna be doing these things last second. You know, you don't wanna be, all right, this is it, hit the fan. Now we gotta grow our survival garden and feed five people off of it for the whole year and can it and all this and have winter storage. It's like. It's, it's too much to do at once, guys. This takes years and years and years. I've been doing this for years and I still have a hundred different things to learn that I haven't even done yet. Now let's step back. Let's think about what's happening around the world. Sanctions are cutting off fertilizer. China is having lockdowns to shut down the supply chain issue. China warned their citizens months ago, I believe over six months ago, probably longer now, to stockpile food. They told, I believe they told them to have like a year's worth of food. 
in China. Communist China is telling their citizens have a year's worth of food, but your government's just saying, just don't worry about it. It's all good. What did they know that we don't know? And what does everyone else know that they're just not telling us? Think about Ukraine, guys. Nobody was told until the last second. And then when people tried to leave, they said, nope, you're drafted in the military. <laughs> That's what happened, guys. They didn't want to cause panic. They didn't want to clog the highways. And they didn't want all of their military-aged men to leave the country before the war started. So they're not going to tell us before anything happens. A food war. A direct war. This is part of the crippling of America. Get rid of America's food supply. Get rid of America's manufacturing. Get rid of America's military power. And then what are you left with? You're left with a skeleton of America with a bunch of debt. It's, it's not going to look good, guys. And what happens when we can't fund our massive military anymore? That's, that's the day that China is just waiting for. They're waiting for it. Is the day for the, the cooked books to run out. For the money flow to run out. And we can't pay for our military anymore. And then we can't buy weapons. And a lot of these weapons are manufactured in China. A lot of their parts are manufactured in China. A lot of the parts for our planes, our equipment... Our ships made in China. This is this is a bad move, guys. And this correlates to the previous trucker videos I've talked about where the whole supply chain is just screwed in all these parts. Well, guess what? These parts are going to affect the military as well, not just truckers. So this is, this is 21st century complex warfare, guys. We're not dealing with just like you know, World War II, where all these new um, explosives were created and it was just a free-for-all and we weren't on the brink of a civilization-ending event with a nuclear war. No, that's, those days are done. <clears throat> now we have complex economic, social, and food wars. That's what's weaponized now. And the last thing to be weaponized is, yeah, nuclear forces. But before all that happens for America, before an invasion happens, all these other forms of warfare are going to take place. And they are taking place right in front of us. And sadly, the government is not going to tell us what's going on. It's, it's in their interest to not tell us what's happening. Think about it. They need to be ahead of everyone else. They can't have everyone else panicking and trying to get ahead of them and their plan and have their own plan. So <clears throat> that's why you need to have your own plan. You need to be prepared. You need to have months of food storage, guys. The more, the better. If you could have years of storage, that's, that's ideal. If you could have that. And, uh, you know, it could be these these mass food storage things like these uh my patriot supply stuff i have no affiliation with them um you know you could get stuff like that but you could also just buy stuff at the store buy a 20 pound bag of rice for nine dollars and it's 16 days of calories guys for nine dollars <throat> so that's almost like 50 cents a day for a full days of full days worth of calories and then get lots of canned meat can fruit um flour so you can bake things like these things like that so you can cut the rice with it you know rice is your bulk and then you can add these other things to it so get started now guys these are these are the valuable things of the future information skills knowledge sustainability these are the valuable things of the future and if you can figure out ways to do that you can combat what's happening you you will not get sucked into this agenda that's going on because we all know this is a plan this is an agenda somebody has a plan for your life that's not the best idea for your life let's put it that way 
So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is a war on our food? Do you think our food supply is under attack? We've seen all these facilities, right? We've seen what's been going on. So let me know what you're seeing. Do you think this is a war? And do you think this is the, the first thing to happen before an actual war would start in America? Let me know down below. Hit that sub. Hit that notification bell. I'm super blessed to have you guys. You guys are incredible. You guys are blowing, blowing this channel up. It's freaking incredible, guys. Thank you so much. And you guys have a blessed day. Thank you.